everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how to go about painting in acrylic on canvas if it's new to you. Firstly, I'll quickly show you some of my older acrylic paintings before I show you how my newest one progressed. I'm kind of big on detail as you can see, which is why I generally steer away from really huge canvases, but of course that's just my personal style. fine detail, you're going to want to buy some oh so tiny brushes, like these ones, along with some bigger brushes for base colours and skies, etc. When buying a canvas, you can simply head to the discount stores and buy either a canvas panel, like this one, or you can buy a stretch canvas, like this one where you can extend the picture around sides like I have, like so. Or you can choose to paint the sides in a complementary colour, like here. You can do either one, that's up to you. You really needn't spend a lot on paints, you're just going to want to buy the primary colours, such as red, blue, yellow, as well as black and white. So you can mix any number of colours from those guys. You may want to purchase certain mixed hues as well, because um, I generally find they have a greater brilliance than those colours you can mix yourself. So like your greens, ochres, and your violets, that type of thing. And if you want to add metallics into the mix, they can also be found at the discount stores. Okay, now, before you start, you may want to crop your reference photo to suit the shape of your canvas. Then you'll want to use the grid method to help you form a rough pencil outline. These days you can print out a photo and draw the grid on it with pencil or you can place guides over your photo in a program like Photoshop, etc. In this case, my grid is at a ratio of 1 is to 1, but you can easily make it 1 is to 2, 3 or anything else. Now copy the detail from each square of the photo to the canvas, constantly checking that you haven't gone off track. Trust me, it happens to me quite a bit. Now with your paintbrush, you are going to be wanting to copy the detail from each square of the photo to each square of the canvas. It's best to work on the background first and the foreground last. If you do it the other way around, that's okay. You're just going to want to go over the edges of the foreground once the background's done so that it appears closest to the viewer. Apart from working from the background to the foreground, it's often best to work from top to bottom or, if not, cover your work with paper towel so you don't end up smudging paint all over your hard work. Blurring your eyes as you go will help you to work out the base colour of each area to lay down ahead of the detail, and checking your work in the mirror will help you recognise any flaws that you may not have otherwise have noticed. Take as long as you like and never rush yourself as that just gives way to shoddy work. One final step that I generally always do is spray the work over with an even film of Crystal Clear which will protect your work while providing a flattering gloss finish. Anyhow, after three weeks of painting, I'm finally done. My window to the world.